Hello there guys, Leo here. Welcome back to Metro Last Light Exodus. Let's see, where to go now? Now, where are we supposed to go? I don't even know if I had a choice to save him or not. I don't even know if I could move. Something I need to do or go in here. Ah, there we go. We have to make it to Polis in time for the peace conference. There isn't going to be any peace. Just war. The last war. Now I know the answers to all the questions. Pavel's head proved to be a real treasury of Corbett's sinister plans. Strange here. Wait. Something is not very happy. We have to see. I started.
There is something big and not very kind falling around through here. Oh, shit! Getting a lot of time. be the mama. That thing is uh, quite scary. Now I know it all. The picture is complete. All I saw was just in preparation. The real blow would be delivered the way at the very last moment. When nobody would expect. Corb but bus boos, boasted he was going to take the whole of the metro without spilling blood. He could really do it. The last blood he needs to spill will be the blood of the order fighters protecting D6. The Reds are going to take them by surprise, for at the very moment, Moskvin is going to be signing the peace treaty with Miller and the others.
basically wants us to follow. Shouldn't try to kill me. Artyom, over here! Thank God, you're in one you piece. A friend. Wait, is this Artyom? This kid shouldn't be out there without a gas mask. What the fuck? Ah, so it is. So it is. A child of the surface, a dark one. No! Don't shoot him, Miller! Then get it away from me! No mask. I should have known. This one's green, but that one's yellow. Tell him I'm not a danger. It seems he is adapting well. Yes, that will keep him alive. May I talk to him, Artyom? Come on, Miller. Put your fear aside. This child is the future. You need only take its hand. My hands are full enough. I doubt this creature can help us. But you too. You go on without me, before I give in to better judgment and rid the earth of it. There we go. Good Miller. How is this? Oh, oh, I. I can understand his thoughts. And I can hear yours, Artyom. Can you hear anyone's thought just by touching them? With Artyom, it's different. We can talk from afar. He was adopted long ago. Do you see, Artyom? The Dark Ones changed you so that they could understand us. What's behind that door? Did you hear? They call you. I can hear! Open this! Wait. That looks like one of the sealed doors in D6. Yes, an exhibition! Has a strong lock, too. We've yet to break it. What's there? My people? They're inside. Sleeping. Incredible. Look at this. They're hibernating. He is not alone. I must wake them up. It's time for them to leave. We are all going there now. We'll open the door if we can. There's... death... nearby... all around. But I must wake them, or be alone forever. Now listen. Help us, and we'll help you. I will. What needs to be done? I must wake them. We'll have to improvise. Hey! Wake, Wake up, up, you bastards! <coughs> <coughs> Colonel, can you open the gate where the gardens line ends at D6? Do you have the code? I have all the codes for D6, but I can't promise a thing. You'll have to. He will help us in police if you do. Take him along then, and brief me on the way. If I'm convinced that he'll help us, I'll open your door. Follow me. Yay. He is not alone. He's not the last. I understand his excitement and his wish to immediately meet the others, to free them and wake them up. But he has agreed to wait a bit longer. First, he's going to try and help us. If we make it to the conference, the Dark One will be able to open up the thoughts of Moskvin, or Corbut himself. Perhaps make them stop this madness. This is our last chance. Our We're getting closer. We knew of Oktoberska from Khan. And we did confront Moskvin on this, the yet he didn't even try to disprove Open it. Gate. He told that by sheer luck, Enter. their chemical defense squad was exercising nearby. And thus, despite some sacrifice, they were able to nip this starting epidemic in its blood. Otherwise, it would have engulfed the whole of 
What can you say for that? Even I would have done the that same. But Colonel, it was Lasnitsky. The, yes, the Ranger who stole a virus container from D6 right before the outbreak. So what? There is not a single living witness besides Artyom. Who'd believe the order? We have the D6 now. What if it was us who released the virus? <laughs> the Reds start to break through into Hans's territory. We could make Moskvin. What can we do? We are not an army. In We've less than a hundred fighters. Yes, sir. yes, Moskvin did gear up for war. But after Polis suggested that we share the wealth inside D6, he might actually agree to oh, peace. Hey. We must do everything to have that agreement signed. Moskvin, what difference does he make? He's just a puppet in Corvette's hands. And while he's talking, Corvette's forces are encircling you. You'll seal this peace agreement with your blood. Oh, what? You got a better idea? You brought this ape here. Open what airlock. now? Yes, We're done with this. Let's go to the council hall. Follow me. Permission to report, Colonel. Denied. Urgent dispatch to D6 Security Force Commander. Go to highest alert. Instruct Korneyev to proceed with... Well, he knows what to do. I asked the kid about how he made it. How did he survive the inferno? Now I know, when the missiles rained upon the state of the Dark Ones, he was simply not there. The Dark Ones, we've been asking ourselves how it happened so that new sentient life emerged almost instantly. Why did we take millions of years to evolve and the Dark Ones needed were a few years? The answer was simple. It was us, people who had brought them to life. They emerged amongst us. Sukhoi, my stepfather, was right. They were the next stage of evolution next to ours. We were their fathers. They were our children. We had created so many weapons to destroy ourselves with, and one of those weapons gave birth to them. They are not like us. What kills us makes them stronger. We left them a ravaged, poisoned world, but they learned to live in it. They sustain themselves by absorbing radiation. After being born, they do not enter the world at once. For some time, they continue to exist in a dream, growing and learning from the ones who came to be before them. What we destroyed was their home, but the place where the young ones left was underground, close to the botanical gardens, close to the TV tower. It was in the bunkers under the TV buildings, which were connected to D6. But when the warheads fell, the entrance tunnels caved in. Dark ones who were almost ready to enter the world got blocked inside. Instead of them, he, the little one, opened his eyes, awakened by the explosion and the last scream of his mother, knowing nothing of what had happened, not ready for anything, knowing nothing of the world. He tried looking for his kin, but could not find them because a few survivors continued sleeping. Their time to wake up has come and passed. They soon very well could die of hunger, even without even opening their eyes once. I don't know what, how Khan persuaded Miller, but he was the icon of stoicism and did not reach for his weapon when, the dark, when he saw the Dark One, and the following events shocked me even more than the plans of the Reds. There were Dark Ones in D6. Khan had hypothesized that they were created artificially before the world. Created as what? Soldiers immune to radiation and having no need for voice communications? Could be so, but then God probably decided to breathe souls into them. Please let this work out. Get ready, Arthur. Stay close to the little one. Hurrah, comrades! Let there be peace in the name of our children! You are a liar! Come, are you out of your mind? I know what I'm doing. Just believe in me. Just this one time. Who are you? Guards! 
Take this man away. Ranger, stand down! Artyom, little one, it's your turn. Oh my. This is a little trippy. Comrade Moscovy, you must support me on this. Or else... Some inconvenient details might surface concerning your brother's death. I overheard one conversation between your brother and his advisor about the threat you pose and ways to eliminate it. What's the hell? Threat? We're brothers! He thinks you feel bypassed, cheated. He fears you will overthrow him. <laughs> He's totally mad. Totally. I'm going to give him an earful. Words alone will not avert his assassination plans. No, you must strike first. Maxim, brother, I'm so pleased that we finally made up. It was a fight over nothing. Let's have a drink. Sure, brother. One of them's been poisoned. What? Oh, you know, Maxim really silent treatment. What are you looking at me with those honest eyes for? your fault. Who wanted me dead? Corbett sold you out. And now, he's got me by the balls. All because of you. Hmm. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, brother. There's no forgiveness for me. Even so, <laughs> what? What was I? I out loud? Ah, I see. So you gave me something. Just like I gave something to brother. Yes. Yes. I did. I poisoned him. And Corbett. I'm a fool. I thought he wanted to save me. And he just took the power. Took me by the throat. And he's storming the D6 now. And there's that virus! And if that falls into Corbett's hands, the end! You, but you are the leader! They Order know him! Me. Call the troops back! You stole them again! Why some time to make a deal? What kind there's of... nothing more we can do here. A spy Hurry! Arm. Faster! To the platform! Damn them! I'm not surrendering D6! Follow me!
It will be bad for everyone if you lose. Then I have to save them. My family. You're good, Artyom. He is gone. He did what he could. And now he is gone to meet his kin. I can't judge him for that. The remainders of humanity are finishing each other off in their final fight. It is not his war. I hope he was able to forgive us. Me. For what we did to his brothers and sisters. His mother and father. Alrighty guys, I am going to end it here. If you liked this episode, give it a thumbs up. If not, give it a thumbs down, comment what you think, and subscribe for future videos. This is Leo signing off. I'll see you guys next time.